<laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again. I thought I'd get back so I won't frighten you. <clears throat> Look, I had another thought, and thought, that thought is this. We envy people who are part of the system, who are being successful in it. We get jealous, <clears throat> excuse me, and we want to find all kinds of ways to condemn them. We tr truly do this because we don't understand life, and we don't know that we don't understand. But just to enlighten you a little bit, when in the world people are being deceived and some people are chosen to carry forward the agenda in every area of life for the powers that want to be God. And they usually hang behind the curtain, but they really control everything. But only people who have the right in this system to know, knows. And this system is the manifestation <coughs> of a spirit just like this. Hate, crime, violence, and the, all the stuff, everything that exists, that's the spirit. And it has been accepted by some people. Some people <coughs> even pray to that spirit and honor that spirit just like some people want to pray to our God, and the good God. And they usually are running the system. They perpetuate all the stuff that goes on within the system. Now, <coughs> When they take people out of the system, <coughs> excuse them, and use them as pawns, they, based upon what is important in the system, open doors so they can amass uh, as much as they desire. But they become really puppets of the system. But they have been given a measure of truth according to that spirit. That spirit says that they can be free, that they can do anything that they want to do. And they want to do it anyway. And they believe that they can do it. And not just that, they know they can do it. <coughs> and somebody has given them a, a philosophy about their living that makes them say, well, I'm just smart and better than they. They can't even think. Ooh. And so we give you a $100 million contract to do this. Or it doesn't just have to be in entertainment or sports, but it can be in every walk of life. You know, you can make millions just by sitting at a desk. Uh, but <coughs> it depends on how valuable you are to the powers that be. And these people have no problem with it. They've accepted the fact that the rest of society is crazy and ignorant. And they are. It's only that these people who now think they're smart are just as ignorant as everybody else. But they don't know that. So, but people who know the truth don't be jealous about stuff like that. They understand what's going on. And in their freedom by them separating themselves from that philosophical thought of that evil spirit or that demonic spirit or that spirit of hate and all that other stuff. <clears throat> now they are living from the spirit of love. They are living from freedom. And nothing that you do over here, whatever you conform to, doesn't bother them. They just on the road to freedom. And they are so free, they don't, they're not afraid of the world. They're not afraid of the system. They're not afraid of the law. They're not afraid of people. what people can do to them or say about them or imprison them or kill them. They're not afraid of any of that. And when you're not afraid as any of that, you become just as envied or hated, or should I say, for, for, your, for your benefit and the way you feel, you become so special. So special. You are just as special as any football player, basketball player, a singer, or a dancer. In, 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 it is this specialness that makes the world look back and take notice. Like, hey, what's going on? I don't understand that. Why is this person so special? Because now you've got their interest. And this is what your purpose is, and you don't even know it. In your world, it's not really your purpose. It's just a byproduct of your freedom. Because now you are walking according to that light. And that light glows in you. And people start turning around and start taking notice at stuff they had not seen, the stuff that they had been lied to about. They are now seeing it alive in you. And then the powers that be thought you have become a threat. So they either try to expose you or they kill you. Now the people, some of them will say, well, let's do, well, the, the powers that be might give you a statue to satisfy the people. Then everything goes right on back 
business as usual. But the whole point of it is that all of the people who are caught by this evil spirit can get the light. But none of us who might get the light can give the light to anybody. Only thing they can do is shine by walking according to the light. And in so doing, there is your life. There is your freedom. There is your peace, your prosperity, your joy. It's right there in walking to the spirit of life guided by the spirit. Now, did you get that? <laughs> Bye. Oh, now what have I said? Let me just put it this blank. When you get yourself together, it's like waking up uh, from a uh, uh, physical uh, awakening or, uh, or a spiritual awakening, or both. Waking up. You've been walking to the dictates of laws and stuff that were sick and blind and anti-life. Not only that, you've been spiritually guided, committed to that. But now you have awakened and you see it for what it is. Do you walk according to that which you have walked in your ignorance and darkness and blindness? Or do you walk according to the light? And if you don't walk according to the light for which you have gained, that makes you hood compared to the people who are still blind. I don't know. You got to have that. All I'm saying is this. When the United States government <coughs> come at you with that Patriot Act stuff for letting your light shine, it will be the greatest thing that could have happened to you. Now, I'm going to tell you something I really know. I learned this by being true to, to the Spirit. You will go to prison maybe, if you're lucky, and you will be so, I don't know, you should just light up and you really see it, but something in you just takes control, and every day you're in prison, you feel so wonderful, you feel so precious, you feel so good, because you won't, I don't know, I can't tell you what makes it, except just being you, and on the right track, this is why I say, this joy you'll get, this joy I have, the world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. This is the blessing. This is how God rewards you. When you're standing up for what's right and walking according to that light because, and you're not trying to, what, be a leader for nobody. You ain't out there trying to say, let me show you and let me lead you down this way. No, you're not saying that. Your life becomes its the spokesman for your truth, your life. And it does more than anything you can say, because if you're just out there talking, well, that's the way of the world. you got to walk it. Now, I'll leave that. Might say the same thing a few minutes ago, but it was 